guys, so I just made a bunch of chicken breast and I cut it into little pieces and I put a little bit of honey garlic sauce, like just a little bit. This one. So now I have honey garlic chicken breast bites and it's actually healthy because I made it myself and then I also put some sriracha all over it. And yeah, me and Bay love going out to eat wings. So this is like my wings, but not really. So anyways, that healthy life struggle, you know, back on it. So yeah, you can always make chicken breast. And if you think it tastes too plain, just put a little bit of sauce. Like you don't want to drench it in sauce. Like as you can see, there's no extra sauce like leaking off of it. It's just lightly marinated. And yeah, and then you can add this to a bunch of vegetables and eat it for lunch or dinner and have some salad and healthy option right there. Hey guys, my throat is finally back to normal. I can finally speak without sounding like I'm half man or something. Um, yeah, you guys just saw me have some breakfast and do some meal prep. And then I went upstairs and I showered, straightened my hair, and now I am off to class and after class, I am going to get a hydrofacial. Had I had one in about five weeks, and I could definitely use one. So yeah, I'm heading to get a hydrofacial after class, and then I might go to Chapters because the one in Surrey is closing down. Apparently, everything's 50% off. So you know, I'm basic like that. So I gotta go to Chapters and grab some mugs and stuff. So yeah. Other than that, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything, like, probably ever now for, like, the next three months at least. Um, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. If I haven't, I am a full-time student. I'm in my last semester of social work. So I'm not going to have much of a social life. <laughs> and there's not much to vlog. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, so, guys, please don't expect too much from me. I'm trying to do the best I can, but I really think I might need to take a little break from my vlogs, only because my days are going to be at school and then studying and then hair and makeup stuff. And I don't want you guys to get bored and thinking that my vlogs are boring now. But, hey, that's life. So you got to finish some things before I can go and do what I want to do. So, finishing school... This summer I'll be done, then I graduate, and then I can do whatever I want. And also, Ravina and Sire are also full-time students, and they both have part-time jobs as well on the weekends, so we don't get much time with each other when we do. It's us just catching up. So yeah, just a little warning, my vlogs might be a little boring if I continue to vlog, so maybe I should just take a break and not post vlogs and only stick to like hair and makeup videos. I don't know. I will see how I feel. Um, yeah, you guys let me know how you feel. Just please don't pressure me to vlog. <laughs> Some comments from you guys are so like pressurizing, like, oh, when's the next vlog? When's the next vlog? Are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? And it's like, I don't have anything to vlog. I didn't do anything. You want me to vlog me in class and studying because that's all I've been doing or filming like makeup videos or doing my clients I think I might do another Q&A because that'll be something that you guys can leave your questions down below and I can film when they have some spare time just answering your questions and I haven't done a Q&A in probably a year but yeah anyways I'm gonna go on with the rest of my day I'm so sleepy I really like don't get enough sleep at night when I have school because I'm one of those people that likes to stay up at night and like watch Netflix and then waking up early just isn't my thing. So yeah, I'm gonna drive to class now. I'm at the new Uptown Med Spa location. They moved from South Surrey to Langley and they're inside Minted Nails Lounge. And yeah, I'm gonna get my hydrofacial done and it's really cute in here. I think next time you're here, I'll probably like get a pedicure done as well. Time for my hydrofacial. I'm gonna get in this super warm bed and I'm probably gonna fall asleep because I'm so tired.
so I just got my hydrofacial done and next door they have this cute little like boutique and they had really cute clothes and I'm like trying some of the sweaters and stuff on and I really am liking the stuff here. There's like three things I already found that I'm gonna get. I'm also feeling this like, it's not even a coat or a jacket, like it's super light material. It's cute though. I haven't gone clothes shopping in so long so I'm like probably gonna buy everything. Okay. This shirt's a little weird, like the shoulders are cut out. Not feeling it. There's such cute hats here too. All right, so this is a store. It's called shophoneys.com and they have an Instagram page. You can take a look at their stuff. But yeah, it's next door to the hydrofacial place. I've never seen the store in my life. And they have cute stuff in their windows and I decided to go in and they have really cute crop tops that you can wear with like skirts and stuff. I actually was planning on going to Aritzia after class just at Coquitlam Center because there's a certain scarf from there that I wanted and, and then I was like oh I want more like wintry fall type of clothes before they're like out of season because it's my favorite season of clothing favorite time to shop and but I didn't have time to go to Ritz yet and I'm glad I stumbled upon this store but anyways so yeah I need to go buy lashes I'm doing a look tomorrow on another girl and I need to buy lashes and I don't want to be rushing tomorrow morning. But the lash store is only open till 6 and I'm in Langley. Let's, uh, I think I should hop on the highway actually and I'll take, and I don't know, I don't know what's going to take me there the fastest. But anyways, and then I'm going to go to Chapters. Hopefully they're open till 9. I have a feeling they are. And then I got to pick up a parcel for my mom. My mama came back from India and my mom ordered so many suits from him that he had to get them parceled here because he didn't have enough room in his suitcases and the parcel's been here for like a few days and every day when i leave for school my mom's like oh i just said you know john i made a parcel like okay. yeah and i was just like okay okay relax like i'll get your parcel so that's all i'm doing and then i'm basically just gonna go home and do some readings and go to sleep that's my life i thought i would kind of like film a day in my oh shit come on people so I thought I would film this kind of like a day in my life video for you guys just so you guys know that my life really is boring like it's not fun every single day like this is pretty boring like why would you guys want to see just me by myself in a car getting things done you know so hope you guys understand why I can't vlog as much so I didn't want to go to Chapters alone. Look who I picked up. Hi, Rav. Okay, the line up here is like ridiculous, okay? It starts from there. It's not done yet. And it goes all the way to the end over there. For being a nurse, I've line up this long at Chapters in my life. It's only because everything's going to buy bucks. 50% off everything. Like, this line? Like, not happening. Right, Raz? Yeah. It's not, not happening. <laughs> Even if I would have found something, like, I wouldn't have stood in that line. Yes! My mom's parcel from India. Yeah, yeah. Velvet suit? By the way, guys, she still hasn't sewn the velvet suit that I got for her. Hi, Dad. It's not. I don't know what it is. The world's ending, guys. Okay. Okay. Don't 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 say it. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing, Jack? I'm trying to figure out what the light is. Okay, hi, Sarah. Oh, if you guys are wondering what's going on right now, so turn this down. Turn this down. So <laughs> we we went to Bubble World, right? And we picked the f out. And then we were just driving around Surrey. We were, right there. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> And then we're driving and Ravina's like, hey, what's that orange light in the sky? By the way, it's like almost two in the morning, okay? And then I was like, I don't know. And we started driving towards it and like we keep losing the, the goddamn light. But like, I think we find. Do you guys, let's oh see God, if they look, see it. Look at it, look at it. Look at it's, it's not right normal. There. Do you guys, they can't even see it. I'm trying to, okay, right there. Do you see that weird light like in the distance? We don't know what that is and it's orange and like, we're trying to find it and we're trying to, I'm telling you, it's in Delta. It's in Delta? I think it's Delta. I think it's in PR though. Like we keep getting closer, but we're not getting anywhere. Anyways, we're just like overly excited. About like, this light. You guys probably don't even care, but I haven't vlogged in a while, so. 
Hi, Sarah, by the way. Hi. By the people, people are saying my vlogs are boring now. Well, I told them we have a life. Yeah, I we like go to school. I got off work early, thank God. I'm like, so that's so, so rude. Saturday. It's so rude of my subscribers to tell me my vlog is boring now. Like, oh. Whoa! Wrong. Well, you almost killed us no, there, wrong but. Turn. I took the wrong turn. <laughs> this is our Saturday, guys. <laughs> this, this, is, this is our Saturday night. Don't go any further, guys. We're gonna go to Ladner. I'm telling you, it's it's not in Surrey. We, we're, we're gonna, like, the light is gonna. I'm telling you the world's ending. The it's getting lower. Yo, I really don't think it's like something on fire. I just think that it's something. I told sky. Ravina to Google it. Is there like a solar eclipse or something it happening to me? Is Mars exploding? It says nothing. It says nothing about it. Orange light in Surrey sky. It's, it's coming. Oh my, god, yeah. oh my god. Do you guys see that in the vlog? They see it in the vlog now. Oh, shit, we're too far now. I don't know. It's really hot in here. You guys are gonna see the orange light we're talking about. Like, I, I gotta Should show. Should I take this exit or no? I don't know. Shit. Should we just... I don't know what to do. We're gonna be in Ladner. Don't take the exit. Don't, yeah, I don't yeah, want to take the exit. Don't screw the exit. Who cares? We go to Ladner, we go to Ladner. Wait, the light's there, though. The light! Do you guys see that orange? Do you guys see the orange in the sky? The orange, I don't know where it's going. Oh, my God, we're going back on the highway. The no! You guys, did you guys see the light? light? Oh my oh my God. God. Do you guys see that? It's two in the morning and that's the sky right there. The light though. Okay, that was a lot of excitement for us. Um, there's no tornado. <clears throat> there's no fire. We don't know what it was. It was just weird something. It was weird. Maybe the three of us are just seeing things. No, we're not. I mean, the servers at Bubble World were pretty rude to us. Maybe they like drugged our food. I don't know. Just okay, saying. We should have should, should told them. I don't know. Did. We shared everything. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's just tell them. I don't know. I just told Ravina and Sarah, like, how come you guys didn't tell me? Remind me to vlog at Bubble World because that would have been hilarious. I totally forgot about it. But anyways, it's like in the middle of the night and we got hungry, so we decided to go to Bubble World. Okay. And the waitresses were like really rude to us, and it was just like the shittiest service ever for no reason. And she didn't even give us side plates. Yeah, I, I asked too many side plates. I asked for side plates, and she's like, "Ah, uh, sorry, the kitchen's using them." And I'm like, "Uh, what do you want me to eat off the goddamn table?" Anyways, and then <laughs> they didn't give us four. So you, they gave us one bowl each. Yeah, like little little Nikki And okay. then our, our, the person sitting next to us had a side plate. Yeah, so that's they're racist. They're definitely racist against us. Um, but it's okay. I still love Bubble World. Okay, Sarah. People are saying my vlogs are boring, they're getting boring, and that we don't do fun things like we used to do. So somebody commented that, right? And I decided to reply back to their comment. And I told them, like, you know, like life changes. When I started when we started vlogging, like we had no life. None of us were serious in school. We had a lot of time to like do stupid things. <laughs> Go Biology. Yeah, all Ravina does is microbiology. I'm always in school. Sarah's always in school or working. Um, I know. Yeah. I have like no life. We're busy. We're sorry, but we promise you summer will be much better. And it's not like we go out and eat like junk food every Yeah, people day. are like, oh, you go, don't go out and do the same things you used to like go out and eat and stuff. Well, we're all trying to lose weight, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, we just oh, went to Bubble so World. Hard. Yeah, we just went to Bubble World. But I mean, like, you know, we don't like plan to go do cute little things that much anymore, so. And I'm, I'm so full, I can't breathe. And we ordered, oh my god, we ordered so much food at Bubble World. I don't, I, I'm like, yeah. We have leftovers. We, we have leftovers. We're gonna give it to some homeless person. Let's go to King George. Hi, hey, Ravina, do you have anything to say? Like, you're pretty quiet back there. I'm just like, what's with the orange light? <laughs> Ravina still thinks there's a tornado coming. Yeah. Now we're gonna listen to some scenty music and drive around. Bye! <laughs> Outfit of the day, I'm headed out for a date night with Bay. So I got the scarf yesterday from Aritzia. My sweater is from Forever 21. This bag is from, I bought this when I was in London in the summer. And yeah, I'm just wearing leggings. They're from Old Navy. This plain blue um, shirt is also from Old Navy. I'm just dressed comfy. It's really cold outside, so I thought I'd dress a little warm. Probably just gonna wear some black boots with this. 
And yeah, I'm going for date night with Bay. I think we're gonna go to Ibisu. It's on Robson. It's a like Japanese restaurant. I've been wanting to try it for a while. And then maybe, maybe we'll try our luck at Papa Roti again. We'll see. Um, I got a hydrofacial done the other day. My skin is starting to look better. I had a few breakouts on this side. Um, around like boxing day and then they lasted me literally until the day I went and got a hydrofacial done and now they kind of like disappeared again But yeah, that's all I have planned for today and let's see what my dad's up to Hi dad What's your deal? I'm going out yeah? Dad's sitting on his chair again the one that the doctor told him is good for his back <laughs> He's not impressed Bye dad I'm going out We're going to get to Out Oh no, my battery's dying. My camera just like died on me and then I charged it for like five minutes. I was gonna wear this scarf instead, but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wear my new Aritzia scarf. Anyways, I'm gonna put my camera on charge for like another five minutes before I leave so that it doesn't die on me. Okay, I decided to wear brown boots instead of black. Bye. Notice that about their drink menu that they list how much percentage alcohol all the drinks are. <laughs> I'm getting this one. It's supposed to look like that. Let's see. Wow, there's so many shots. Next time it's someone's birthday, definitely gonna get them this shot. It's like the most percentage alcohol. Oh no, this one is. Oh, we've done these before. Bear hugger. This is so informative. Oh, those are weak. So the drink came green. It doesn't look like what it looked like in the menu. Don't you guys hate when that happens? When you order something, it doesn't look like the picture. Our food is here. Mine's a dynamite roll. And they got like a, a salmon with cream cheese and avocado roll. And this is just chicken teriyaki. Alright, we're gonna give this place a second shot. Let's see what's so great about this place. That was so good. We definitely killed that one. That was good. I'm glad I tried it out. It's very similar to like waffles or um, crepes. Same thing. The bun tastes like a crepe. Like once you cut it up and you have like the toppings with it. So yeah, I recommend it. Something to try.